Hey guys, so I'm over here at Universal. I am trying to get the best lighting for you guys. There you go. Um, so I'm here just to do a review of the upcoming Holiday Horror Nights. It is happening in less than a week, so a lot of people are excited about that. So I'm going to check out the final decorations for that, and I will be announcing the winner. So stay tuned if you haven't done so. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon so you can watch all our videos upcoming because we've got a lot planned. But we'll see you guys in the park. Bye. Hey guys, we are over here at Universal. Sorry, I went to uh, Islands of Adventure for a little bit, but we're going to go and take a look at what they got right now. So, here's the entrance, and we're going to go straight right in. Let's see what they got. So what we've been told so far is that Today Cafe will be open throughout the whole entire night. So if you've eaten here before or you like here, or a good place to get away from all the spooks, here's one of the entrances to one of the haunted houses. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's an entrance. So that's interesting. So Today's Cafe is right there. And then entrance is right here. Then we go into our first scare zone, Vanity Ball. It was like a stage for one of the actors as well. And he was probably like, here's like this. Should be interesting. Let's continue on. Looks like another stage for some of the scare actors here. So, the dark room right here, and the stage is right there. So when we look back, that's where the scare zone was for Bandy. All right, let's continue on. I believe this is gonna be another scare zone for Vikings. They even got a ship, guys. So Look at that. The helmet. It's as if you're on part of a ship. Alright, we got another food tent. This one's going to be specialty drink some beer. Look at that graphics. Pretty cool. And then we got the same thing over there as well. And got a couple food stands too. Get a s'mores fries. And then pizza fries. That's over here by the kids' zone pizza. I'm not sure what these are. There's one right here, and there's one over here. But it's all covered up. So I'm not sure. So, guys, I want to announce the winner. All right, so our contest has ended. Our giveaway. It's a $75 uh, Disney package type thing. Uh, just a lot of of merch. Um, so I'm going to list it down below. But I'm also going to read um, the first part of the email. I'm not going to get the full email just for obvious reasons. Um, so the winner is 
N-A-N-M-T-Z-3-3. Um, so you won our first giveaway and we are going to email you um, on Saturday to let you know. So be looking out for that email. We want to talk about maybe doing another giveaway for Halloween. So we'll do a whole bunch of merchandise from Halloween Horror Nights and maybe even Disney. So um, be keeping an, an eye out for that too. All right, we got either an entrance or an exit to one of the haunted houses as well. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, a lot, there's a lot of speculation on them, which ones are gonna be here. Um, maybe they have the insider information. I don't have that, so I'm just, I just know it's gonna be a haunted house over here somewhere. We also got a tent with the Twisted Taters right here. Men in Black is right here. So we got into another haunted house as well. Not, again, not sure which one they are. Um, but it's going to be frightening, I'm sure. Over here they have the Academy of Villains. I know that for sure because they have a sign right out front. So that's going to be out here as well. Um, again, Amber and I have never seen been to haunted horror nights so I'm not sure what to expect so I know we're going to be coming probably the first couple times it's open so God help us here we got a tent right here with the specialty and drinks and beer and again this is used to be right where the fear factor stage used to be and where the bathrooms are so as you look over here to your left you have another one so you have Springfield right there, and then you have another drink station there. It says specialty drinks and beer. So as we leave London and enter San Francisco, we had the Rob Zombie. I know we showed you this time, last time. Um, but they have a couple more decorations out, so we'll see how they look. Another food tent here. Now keep in mind this is at the exit of Fast and Furious. So as you start to enter New York, you got Fast and Furious over there. You also got a um, drinks and beer tent right here. And then over there. So I'm going to go this way by Transformers to see if they have anything over here. And then I'll come back the other way. I decided that I'm going to go look and watch the horror makeup show since we're doing this update for Halloween Horror Nights it just makes sense to watch a video and a play if you want to call it a play uh, the horror makeup show kind of goes hand in hand don't you think we also have this video um, way back when probably about a month or two ago so we'll put that down in the description for you to watch so we're waiting in line like um, so I'm gonna use my fast pass to sit in line it doesn't look like I'm going to need it but if you guys remember from our video before we did sit in here and we kind of did a nice little overview of the lobby area and you know it's amazing what they can do with the makeup and the prosthetics and all that kind of stuff so like I said you can't have a horror night video update without going here so about the guests that we have with us here at the makeup stage today. First of all, he's a very good personal friend of mine. More importantly, this guy is somebody who I have worked with and I've followed his career since day one. He's an incredibly talented makeup artist. He's also a creature creator and he comes out all the way from the West Coast whenever he gets a chance, catches us up on his latest projects. A lot of fun to have around and I guarantee you're in love. Please put your hands together for my good friend, Mr. Mark James. I 
out on a steak or a stale churro. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, oh, oh the pain. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Dumb lady, help me. Okay, help me. Get off your butt and help me. I need mouth to mouth. Let's go sit down. some of those great effects and time permitting I'm even going to give you a little a glimpse into a, a project I've been working on for a children's movie it's behind the curtain wait is this the one you've been talking about yeah it's this been, I brought a movie it's behind the curtain months. I'm in yeah. stroke I can't believe you've done it no 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 not yet what? Oh, oh, hey, no. No. Okay. that's a big reveal I know but don't touch my stuff but I just want to I have two rules don't touch my stuff okay don't touch my stuff that's the same. Yeah, the same. Uh, you know, you can do me a favor, though. What you mean? Uh, go to the audience and yeah. find me a woman whose family won't miss her very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to call a volunteer. Yeah, that's all they're marketing. Yeah. Okay, so we need to volunteer someone fun, someone adventurous, someone. Uh, most importantly, won't be missed just in case this little project doesn't work out because that happens. You've actually got your whole life in front of you. So, you're the only one who remembers where you guys parked, so that's pretty important. Too. Actually, here's the fun part. I'm looking for somebody that they don't even know why they're here. They're like, oh, is this a ride? When's the lap bar going to come down? Someone perhaps like, this young lady right here, Pop Cheers, Pop Stranger there, that's okay. That's okay. I'll take care of it. Uh, you know a ton about the makeup artists that have created this stuff over the years. Yeah, the history of the whole thing. Same cool thing. Yeah, well, you know, it, uh, it, I mean, it probably goes back almost a hundred years now with our first great makeup uh, pioneer, Lon Chaney. Known as the man of a thousand faces, Lon Chaney did all of his own makeup for a lot of classic Universal characters, such as Ooh, Fan of the Opera and Hunchback of Notre Dame. He was a brilliant actor, dedicated to his work. As a matter of fact, as this next character, he, he injected bleach into his own eye. Oh, no. no, that's not true, I made that up. But uh, he, as the hunchback, he did wear a 40 pound hump on his back every day, wore a full body harness, he couldn't even stand straight uh, or erect during shooting. Now, he was very secretive about his techniques. He took a lot of his secrets with him to the grave. We don't know how he did a lot of his great movie magic. He did leave one great legacy behind, and that was his son, Lon Chaney Jr., who in the 1930s here at Universal Studios was the original Wolfman. There we see him in his makeup by this fella, Jack Pierce, a, a Universal makeup legend responsible for such monsters as uh, the Wolfman, the Mummy, uh, Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Uh, now, he was uh, such a perfectionist. He was known to visit morgues where he would study and work on the corpses there. Who there's the Game of Thrones writers trying to dig up a new ending. <laughs> now, the original Frankenstein makeup was a hefty combination of rubber, plaster, mortician's wax, and uh, toxic grease paint. It took about four hours to apply every day. It took twice that long to apply all the mud and makeup and bandages needed to cover Boris Karloff's entire body, turning him into the mummy. These are classic Universal characters. We had some crappy ones too. Let's look at some of the poo. Yeah, look at these guys. Ooh. Here comes my favorite, the big brain guy from this island Earth. Hey, who wants to play cranium? Lady, I'll beat your butt. My brain's on the outside of my head. Where are you going? <laughs> well, just got done with horror makeup show. Oh, it was pretty fun. It was really fun. All right, so we're gonna go back over by New York and look and see what else they got over there. All right, all right. So we are over back over here. So we're going to take a a right, or keep going straight if you're coming from San Francisco or London. So we have the bake shop, Malik's Bake Shop. If you remember that from our um, annual past night video, we showed that. Now let's keep going down. 
The mummy's gonna be on the right hand side and you can see some lighting towers and all that kind of stuff over there as well. But we'll see what else they have over here. Alright. So we have a little box or building over here. Looks like they might have maybe some scare actors in there that do periodic things. Here's a close up look. You have the zombie kill of the week and then you got the seats. So that's gonna be uh, pretty intense. And over here they have another sign for haunted house. Not sure which one it is, but you go in and boom, you're in the haunted house. Because there's some time gates as well. Again, the scariest part of the whole night is gonna be these. We have the Star Court. Some place to get drinks as well. Specialty drinks and beer. And this is right there by Monsters Cafe. All right, so they have a game zone as well. They have basketball hoops, ball balloon pop. Bazooka blast, more hoops, and disco drop. Oh, and one more. Pumpkin toss. It's pretty cool. Football toss as well. Here's the stage. I don't know if it's gonna be a uh, another haunted house or not. Remember, there's gonna be ten haunted houses and five scare zones. So it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be frightening, but it's gonna be cool. All right, this is cool. They have arcade games, guys. Game over. Huh, <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's our last tour before Halloween Horror Nights. So the employees get it September 4th to see it and, and have fun the whole night's theirs and then the official night's on the 6th so which is still pretty pretty cool for us um with our annual pass we get in free um one night and that starts on the 6th so i'm not sure if we're going to go that night or not but either way um amber's excited i'm on the fence um, I know there's a lot of hype and everything, but it's just to me. I just don't like scary stuff I don't like stuff jumping out in front of you, but I'll go Rate it for you guys and you guys only um, so don't forget um, our uh, what do you call it? Our giveaway has come to an end. Um, I know I announced a winner earlier, but just to remember, uh, N-A-N-M-T-Z-3-3, um, you are the winner. Um, so be expecting an email uh, within the next 24 hours. Um, check your junk mail and all that kind of stuff. But if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and hit that like button. We'll see you guys in the parks. Bye.